uh, and look at the sequence function, um, one of the great things about it is you can use it to dynamically number any list of data that you have, and then that number will continue to go up as you add data, and um, it'll adjust itself. If you change data, if you delete or add rows, the numbering will continue to uh, work automatically. So in this scenario, I've got a list of names, and I want to create an ID number. So I'm going to insert a column to the left. I'll right-click on column A and choose Insert. And then uh, we'll call this column simply um, ID. Now, let's say I want the ID numbers to start at 100, and I want them to go up by 10. So I want Courtney to be 100, Linda to be 110, so on and so forth. So I'm going to use the sequence function here. I'm going to say equal sequence. And the first parameter of the sequence function is how many rows do you need to use with your sequence function? In other words, how far down uh, should your sequence function spill forward to, to create a sequence of numbers? Well, that would be the number of entries in column B minus 1 because I don't want to do 22 columns starting in row 2. Uh, I actually only have 21 entries. The first row is a header. So to calculate that dynamically, I'm going to use the count A function and count the values in column B, right? So the values in column B will be any used cell, but I'm going to subtract one from that. So the count of column B minus one, and then comma, the number of columns, the default is one. In other words, I only need one column of numbers. I'll, leave, I'll put the one in there to illustrate that. Now, start. What is the starting number? Let's say we want to start with 100. And we want to go up by 10 every step of the way. That's it. So the sequence function, the number of rows is however many values there are in column B minus 1. I need one column wide. Is, in my sequence array will be one column wide. I'm starting with 100 and incrementing by 10. So when I hit my enter key, there you go. So we can see it starts at 100, goes up by 10. So then if I add another entry, we see the sequence function continues to populate. If I go in and take out some entries, let's say we remove some values, then the sequencing renumbers. So that's what you would want to do uh, if, you know, if you have this uh, dynamic numbering scenario that you need to implement. So there you go. That's how we can use the sequence function to dynamically number a list, and it will automatically adjust if you add or remove values. That's it. I hope you find it useful. Check in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day. Peace.